Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve with uh, Steve's Movie Night. <laughs> Happy Halloween. This is one of my favorite Halloween themed movies. And Arrow just released the epic cut of it in 4K. Look at all those special features. I'm gonna unbox this right here on Halloween. And this is what I'll be watching, one of the flicks I'll be watching tonight, Trick or Treat. Always check your candy. <laughs> so let's unbox this. I'm so excited about what Arrow did with this uh, film. I try not to look at any of the, um, you know, spoiler picks because I wanted a fresh surprise opening the disc so I, I can't even remember what it looked like when I originally saw the pre-order so hopefully you haven't seen any any videos unboxing this yet it is brand new okay Try to be careful here. All right. Okay. Again, Arrow did a phenomenal job with the character Sam here in this nice glossy, um, if you can see the shine on there, that nice glossy uh, embossed kind of look of of the and then the trick-or-treat that is great slip cover there okay here is the box I'll read the special features off here in a minute if I can man the print look at the print on this <laughs> it's I mean that's a full paragraph there all right let's unbox it I can't believe this is all in one disc. It feels heavy. Well, it looks like because this is the limited edition. So you get all this. Not, that, that's. Oh, I got the artwork backwards. Here you go. Look at that artwork. Phenomenal. So here's what we get with the limited edition. Which I would opt for. As soon as possible. Because it will sell out pretty quickly. I would think Trick or Treat is a very popular cult classic now. You get some lobby cards, it looks like. And on the back, it's just one solid picture. So we'll just look at the front. Awesome. That's an awesome one. I like to frame that one. Oh yes, the vintage uh, masks. I love those those masks. Those kids on the bus. If you haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to give you any spoilers. Because the movie is so... Oh, that's cool. They threw a Jason X in there. <laughs> Must be coming out. Huh. I don't want to give you any of the plot. Because the plot's so unique. It's like uh, multiple stories entwined. This movie has the perfect Halloween atmosphere and feel to it. So here's the uh, limited edition poster. Awesome. Sam again. And then Sam on the, on the back. This will have to be framed. So that's that's awesome to have a poster. Okay, now this is cool. We get a booklet. Okay. So let me see. Let me stand up here. Let's go through the booklet together. 
we got here. Okay, so it shows the cast. Credits has information in the booklet. Let's see. Yeah, this is gonna be a it's gonna be a fun read. There's still a lot I don't know about this about this film. I love that scene with all the jack-o'-lanterns. Um, let's go through it quickly. And because I gotta read off these special features. I just remember there was a there was quite a delay getting this movie out. I can't remember the whole story. I did it used to, but I think it got shelved for a couple years or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Why I don't know because it's such a it's such a great flick. Man. So that's the booklet. And let us. And do I need a magnifying glass to read these? <laughs> Whew, that's all. Okay, so let's try to get these special features here. All right, guys, here's what you get in special features you get the brand new 4K restoration by Arrow Films, approved by writer director Michael, Michael Doherty, 4K. Ultra HD Blu-ray presentation and Dolby Vision HDR10 compatible. You get the original DTS HD MA 5.1 surround and 2.0 stereo audio. You get optional English subtitles. Brand new audio commentary by Michael Doherty, moderated by James A. Janice and Chelsea, Chelsea Rebecca of the Dead Meat Podcast. Archival audio commentary by Michael Doherty, conceptual artist Breen Burns, Burns, storyboard artist Simeon Wilkins, and composer Douglas Pipes. And then you get Becoming Sam, a brand new interview with actor Quinn Lord. The Devil is in the Details, brand new interview with production designer Mark Freeborn. If Looks Could Kill, a brand new interview with Director of Photography, Glenn McPherson. Designs to Die For, a brand new interview with costume designer Trish Keating. Bark at the Moon, a brand new interview with creature designer Patrick Tadapolos. Tadapo, I can't say his name. Tadapolos or something. Creature designer Patrick to, uh, Tadapolos. Mark Freeborn remembers Bill Terazakis, a tribute to the late makeup effects designer. Tales of Folklore and Mayhem, filming Trick or Treat, an archival interview with Michael Doherty on the making of the film. Uh, you also get Sounds of Shock and Superstition, scoring Trick or Treat, an archival featurette with Michael Doherty and Douglas Pipes. Tales of Dread and Despair, releasing Trick or Treat, an archival featurette with Michael Doherty and Rob Galuza, Galuzo of the Shock Waves podcast. Fil exploring the film's release and fandom. Season's Greetings, a short film from 1986, directed by Michael Doherty with optional director commentary. Jeez, I can't read here. The Lore and Legends of Halloween, an archival featurette narrated by actor Brian Cox. School bus VFX comparison. Deleted and alternate scenes with optional commentary by Michael Doherty. Fear net promos. And then you get Sam a Lantern, storyboard and conceptual art gallery and behind the scenes uh, gallery. Monster Mash comic book set in the Trick or Treat universe trailer. Reversible sleeve featuring original and newly commissioned artwork by Sarah Deck. 
Oh man, reversible sleeve. I got to check that out. Double-sided fold-out poster featuring original newly commissioned artwork by Sarah Deck. Six postcard size art cards. Okay, I guess they're not lobby cards. They're art cards. Illustrated collector's booklet featuring new writing on the film by Becky Dark, Dark and Heather Wixon. Okay. Movie runs 82 minutes. See, that's a hefty, uh, that's a hefty amount of special features there, guys. Uh, Long-winded on that one. So, this is the, yeah, okay. This is the reversible sleeve artwork. Didn't even know that. Because these 4Ks, you know, are black. So, you actually got to pull it out and see if it's a reversible sleeve or not. That is great. I think I'm going to stick with the new one for right now, but having that available is pretty awesome. If I can get it back in. I love watching this film during Halloween season. Tonight I'm just going to watch it on Halloween, so in beautiful 4K restoration. You definitely should have this in your collection. I'm Steve with Steve's Movie Night. I'll see you guys I'll see you guys on the next one. Great job, Arrow Video.